And gentlemen from Tennessee, Mr. Rose for five minutes. Madam Speaker, President Biden may have broken the law when he willfully retained and disclosed classified materials, according to Special Counsel Robert Hur's recent report. However, Special Counsel Hur chose not to prosecute President Biden because the president's memory has such, quote, significant limitations, close quote, that could hinder the ability to convince a jury that President Biden held a mental state of willfulness that a serious felony requires. Despite the special counsel's reaching this alarming conclusion, Senate Majority Leader Schumer has said, quote, his mental acuity is great, it's fine, it's as good as it's been over the years, close quote, which has been echoed by other allies of the president. Thankfully, the American people aren't buying it. Shortly after the findings of the special counsel were released, President Biden held an embarrassing press conference where he mistakenly referred to the Egyptian president as the president of Mexico. The president's mental acuity was on full display. This is just another reason out of the many why House Republicans are demanding answers and accountability. The Tennesseans I represent deserve to know whether or not the president is mentally fit to serve in the highest office of the land. They also deserve to know whether or not President Biden and his family may have sold their influence and position in our government to the highest bidder, even to our adversaries. That's why House Republicans have requested multiple documents and information from Special Counsel Hur's report to get to the bottom of these important questions. This information could potentially be a smoking gun in the impeachment inquiry in investigation into President Biden, Hunter Biden, and the Biden family. It may also answer questions about President Biden's mental acuity. However, many of these questions have already been answered through the President's rare press conferences and media interviews. Since being sworn in, President Biden has done just 86 interviews versus 300 for President Trump and 422 for President Obama at this point in their respective presidencies, according to data collected by the White House Transition Project. Even worse, he's done just 33 press conferences compared to 54 by President Trump and 65 by President Obama. He even bucked national tradition by skipping out on a Super Bowl interview by CBS. Madam Speaker, I may not agree with the President or those on the other side of the aisle on a whole lot of issues, but I hope we can all agree on how concerning this situation could be. If the President can't be held responsible for potentially breaking the law by mishandling classified information, then he has no business occupying the Oval Office. Tennesseans can rest assured, House Republicans will do everything in our power to conduct oversight of this administration, including the president's mental fitness for office, because the American people deserve to have a president who is up to the task. With that, Madam Speaker, I yield back.